so I think um, I think Eddie said it right. Sustainable. It's you know it has to be sustainable, but it also has to generate a real ROI. And so that's so much of what we're looking for in so many of these themes that you know we're going to talk about now in the technology panel, and we've just talked about. But you know I feel like all of us have looked at our portfolios the last couple months, especially the public companies, and probably seen them all go straight down. And so I think you know it reminds me of a Buffett quote, which is basically when. You know, if you're a net saver, clearly you want the stock market to go down because you're buying businesses cheaper. And I think that's really a function of buying great businesses, buying sustainable businesses, which is exactly what we're doing, right? We're getting more opportunities based on the declines you've seen in the last couple months. And so that doesn't mean we're, you know, value investors, we're certainly not buying, you know, buggy whip businesses. What we're really looking to do is find great management teams um, that are sort of playing in the secular trends we see happening over the next you know, 5, 10, 15 years, and really assess the businesses, the, again, the sustainability, the cash flows, uh, the return on invested capital, and bet, you know, with great managers. So when we think about some of these themes, we think about, you know, decarbonization, especially in the last couple of months, we found some, you know, very interesting businesses, one of which is uh, a company that makes some of the components for utility scale solar arrays. And so this is a stock that was at you know, 35 or $40 a, a year ago and is now in the low teens. We think we're buying what is a sustainable, great business with a good management team for you know, 10 to 12 times earnings, just given you know, some of the rotation you've seen the last couple um, months in, the, in, in clean tech and in solar. So that's one area where we think we find opportunity. You know, we're investing in Dish, where we think Charlie Ergen's doing an amazing job with kind of shifting wireless networks into the cloud. Um, you know, we're investing in fintech, where we again think we have, you know, we found a Canadian business that stocks down 80%, and we think we have a phenomenal management team. We, you know, spend time with management, have gotten to know the CFO very well, and really think they're building sort of a, a, a Coinbase meets Robinhood. Um, and so we're, fi we're, we're identifying these managers, we're identifying these secular trends, and we're really trying trying to bet with them, you know, through the public market. So I guess the, 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 what kind of I'm getting back to is the fact that, again, drawdowns in the market are great when we're buying good businesses. And I think, um, you know, our strategy, you know, again, whether it's clean tech, whether it's fintech, whether it's, you know, cloud adoption, uh, whether it's sort of EVs and what we're doing in the material space, we're, you know, finding what we think are the, 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 the great businesses in these, uh, in these segments. So I think that's a good uh, segue to the tech panel because we are invested in uh, advanced blockchain. We think they're doing some very, very cool things. Uh, and so I'm excited to hear uh, more of what they have to say. But thanks for, thanks for listening. Come join our 361 firm community of investors and thought leaders. We have a lot of events created by the community as we collaborate on investments and philanthropic interests. Join us.